Ciao ragazzi, il Lord Teox here and on today's video we're gonna talk about Razor, how this amazing four-star character evolved in the last month, also weapon, which weapon he prefers from a four-star weapon to an endgame five-star, taking in consideration also the new Latic Blade, artifacts and understand if physical damage is better than electro damage or vice versa, new team composition and the best elemental reaction, talents, constellation, playstyle, and of course, guys, some gameplay. Before we start, I wanted to say two quick things, guys. So the reason why I choose to do a guide on Razor is because I think it's one of the most powerful four star in the game. I, we also heard some rumors that maybe Razor will be in the new Venti banner in the new 1.4 patch update. So if this turn out to be true, guys, I really hope that this guide will help you right away. The second reason is my intention to revisit some of the oldest characters we have in the game because I believe that especially for new players who approach the game now or even for older players, those character builds need to be updated with new information such as weapon, artifacts and so on. I also think that Razor is one of the most, I would say, personal and harder heroes to make a guide compared to the others because all the artifact and weapon we're gonna talk about here really depend on the goal you have and the enemies you are gonna go against. So just keep that in mind. Weapon first, guys. So the best free-to-play option we have in the game is still the amazing prototype archaic, once named prototype Animus. The crash passive talent, which clearly flavors a physical damage build for Razor, but we're gonna talk about build later, is for sure a very solid claimer for any main DPS who really wants to deal a lot of damage. The Serpent Spine in the, is the second weapon I wanna talk about and is the Battle Pass weapon. And like the other Battle Pass weapon here, you will have a critical rate as a substats, which we know already guys that even after month and month and month of playing, Having a good critical rate goblet can be very hard to find. So this is definitely a weapon that I recommend you, especially if you're looking for a more consistent damage with also allowed to kill the enemy faster and see some nice big damage more often. The passive talent of the Serpent Spine is very good, especially if you're talking about a refined rank five, but even in refined rank one, it's amazing. And since Razor is one of the most, I would say selfish character in the game who really want to stay in the field a lot, this is definitely perfect for him. So talking about that, maybe before we were a little bit scared of the other side of the passive talent, especially if you're thinking about the Spiral Abyss where you take a lot of damage. But since now we have a character like Zhongli, Noel, Ningguan, who really can help you protect the, your razor, like with the shield and the, like the new geo buff, the new shield buff we have in the game. This, I think, is something that you don't need to be worried about anymore. So this is definitely a good point to take in consideration. The Black Cliff Slasher is, I would say, the next weapon is the opposite pretty much of the Serpent Spine. So, your substats will grant you a huge boost on your critical damage, which will pretty much oblige you to have a, and use a very good critical rate goblet to try to achieve the good ratio 1 to 2 we really want to deal the maximum amount of damage. So it's a very good weapon in general, so it's a very good passive talent, so again, can be really good, but to be honest guys, due to the substats, is not on the top list of my recommendation. Next weapon guys, the Wolf Greystone. So one of the best claymore you can use on Razor, even I would say the best one, and is an amazing 5 star weapon who goes side by side with another 5 star weapon that unfortunately I don't have, but if you have it already guys, you are good, 
and the Disguise World Pride. So at level 90, the Skyward Pride will have a higher base attack than the Gravestone, and the Energy Recharge will grant you, of course, uh, to use the Razor Ultimate even more often. But both guys are good for either physical damage or electro damage build, but I think the best for me is to the Gravestone, thanks to the passive talent that uh, will help you defeat the enemies even faster when they're basically almost dead. So that's amazing. The last weapon I want to talk about with you is the Lithic Blade. So I really think that this, uh, like, I really like this weapon. I really think that uh, in general the weapon is amazing and even the passive talent. Uh, and uh, I already have it at refined rank 2 now, so the damage we will deal compared to the other 4 star weapon will be a bit higher thanks to the talent boost. But the downside of this weapon that maybe some of you uh, like are thinking about uh, is of course the team composition, since this will oblige you to use a certain character. And uh, to be honest guys, I understand this point is super fair, so it's fine, but the more and more we, the games has developed and the more and more we have a new character to wish for it that, uh, to be honest guys, even a dolphin like me who doesn't spend a lot of guy, money in the game have, and uh, also we can also say that most of us had the choice or maybe the chance to obtain more character for free just by playing the game. For example, if you look at the recent event, uh, we have some quick example, Fisho, Chong Yun, Ning Guan, Jin Chu, Chang Lin. So all these character guys are can be an amazing combo character with the Razor. And a lot of them already come from Li Wei. So if you think about that, uh, this uh, restriction about the team composition is not that hard on us. Of course, guys, you need to keep in mind that Razor comes from Mondstadt. So Unfortunately, we will never achieve the full passive talent potential, but for me guys, for be a 4 star weapon with also an attack percentage as a substats and a very high base attack at level 90 is definitely worth to build, especially in certain situations. When I'm talking about certain situations, it's because you need to keep in mind guys that Razor can be built with a physical damage build, but also an electro one. So, that's why I tested all this weapon for understanding which build is better depending on the weapon you want to build or maybe the weapon you already have. So let's just say right away that uh, for a free to pay player and a beginner player I definitely recommend you to go with a physical damage build. Electro damage build uh, is what I personally prefer and I also what I recommend for an advanced player or someone I will say that already know better, a little bit better the game, the elemental reaction, and they fully utilize all these four characters you have in the team. So that's, uh, that's I will say, is already a start. And uh, after guys, uh, since I don't want to this guy to be like, I will say, four hour long, I will show you the result super quickly, testing all this weapon multiple times with an electro, and also a physical damage build against the Pyro Rage's Vine. So in this way, we can already see the difference between the two build. Of course, guys, this is just one kind of test you can do with those weapon. And uh, I would say this will not take in consideration a lot of aspect of the normal game and also play style you need to have when you use a Razor. Since I would say killing the Rage's Vine is not the only things you do on Genshin Impact. But this test will help us already understand that building Razor with a full physical build will not make such a huge difference like you might think with a certain weapon. So for these two first trial we did with the Serpent Spine and the Lithic Blade, the difference is barely there. So the Electro Damage build is able to keep up with the physical damage build and the result is very similar. But with the Prototype Arcade though, we will notice a big difference between the two builds, which already will confirm what we said before, that this first is a very good free-to-play weapon, yes. Second is perfect for a free-to-play weapon who already started, like I would say, who just started the game. 
And also for players that want to build the Razor right away with a physical damage build. And the, I would say they took it out of the field very rarely and also they don't switch Carter a lot. For the other two weapons guys we will need to talk about team composition, reaction and artifact for a better understanding. The Gladiator Finale guys, 4 pieces is still the best way you can build your Razor and that doesn't change. So I will read it again with you very quickly. The two bonus pieces will grant you an 18% attack bonus and the four pieces will increase the normal attack damage by 35. So of course this is if the wielder of this artifact set uses Ward, Claymore or Polyarm. So which with Razor we're good since he's a Claymore user. I think this is a very easy and self-explanatory so the bonus you will get out of it is amazing guys, especially on Razor, so we already have the basics. But let's just go back a bit very quickly and I want to explain other different options. So talking about the 4 star set, the 4 pieces Berserker guys is the choice for you with the, the nice critical rate increase, so it's perfect for at the beginning of the game for beginner player if you want to build your Razor right away. So just go for the four pieces Berserk. The two pieces Gladiator and two pieces Bloodstain Chivalry is one other good option since we know that uh, maybe farming the good Gladiator set is not necessarily the easiest things to do even now in the game. So even if it's less effective than the 35% Gladiator, the 25% physical damage bonus you will get uh, it's very good, especially if we are talking about a fully focused physical damage build on Razor. Since we are talking about specific build, another good alternative is the two pieces of Gladiator Steel and the two Thundering Fury to increase your Electro Damage bonus by 15%, which is, of course guys, we is very good for an Electro build. So since also we are talking about percentages, another good option I would like you to take in consideration in case you want to try something different and uh, this is something that uh, I will maybe nobody will really use at the end of the story but uh, is the 4 pieces retracing bolide. So this set before Zhongli arrived and the geobuff and so on, I would say I didn't even take it in consideration. But now is it something that you can consider as a good alternative uh, as the others. So, and at the end guys, you will end it up with, uh, and in this case I use the Lithic Blade with a physical damage build, a Geo Resonance bonus. And to be honest guys, it was a very good surprise and uh, you're also dealing a lot of damage. So this is definitely a build that you can add on your Razor if you want to try something different or maybe you already have uh, this like good four pieces retracing bolide in another character and you can switch it so this is something I highly recommend you. But going back to the gladiator set guys after testing different options the one I definitely recommend you is to uh, I would say especially for an end game uh, build is to try to build the best four pieces gladiator you can and exchange your goblet with the physical damage or electro damage bonus depending on the situation or the weapon. Let's talk about team composition and elemental reaction now. So I will start by saying that I will talk about Fischl and Chongyun at the end, let's just call it section. So don't be mad at me if you don't mention it right away guys, okay? The best elemental reaction you want to trigger with Razor guys is Super Conduct. So Super Conduct will reduce the enemy physical resistance by 40% in the next 8 to 9 seconds. This of course is amazing in general, especially for a physical damage build, but of course guys even if you use an electro damage build it's good. New characters like Ganyu are perfect for this job, so if you combine Ganyu Ultimate, Razor Ultimate, you will do a huge insane amount of damage in the 15-20 like, seconds you have at your disposal, so it's amazing. 
Keia is also a very good and aggressive option if you want to take this character in consideration. Diona and Chi Chi can be other good alternative, especially if you're looking into some more healing and protection at the same time. The second best for me, and maybe is also, I would say, one that not a lot of players use, is the Electro Charge Elemental Reaction. So definitely is an amazing reaction for stagger your enemies and dealing a very good IOE damage in the meantime. So this is for me, it's very good guys. Character like Chinchu, Mona, or maybe also Child if you want to play in a little bit different way are the best character for me for this job and they can bring you a lot and a lot also depending on what you need, maybe a burst of your damage or a healer. So really depend on the playstyle, but uh, all three characters, they are like super good for the electro charge reaction. If very quickly we want to talk about Animo character and reaction guys, I would say Venti is amazing. So Venti ultimate, the crowd control will grant you like a razor to deal an insane amount of damage, especially if you combine it with the elemental skill or burst. And also a good thing is that I would say that Razor is, uh, is I would say enough tall, let's just put it in a way, and has a wide animation which allows you to combine those two ultimate uh, very quickly without any problem, compare maybe to other character in the game. And the last one guys I wanted to talk about is Overload. So is the reaction between Fire and Electro and this is a very good reaction with which can deal already a lot of damage. If we're talking about Carter, Bennett, Chan Lin, Ching Yan, they can easily help you achieve this reaction. But uh, and that's also the reason why I leave it at the end. For my personal opinion, compared to the other reaction we talk about, so first of all, is an explosion reaction. And the second is an explosion reaction which will cause your enemy to go away, I would say to push them away into the hair, and that's yes, will deal damage, but at the same time will make razor life very hard to continuously attack the enemy, especially because you need to also sprint, catch up with the enemies, which will mean consuming like more stamina, which we know is very precious, especially for a claymore user, and at the same time maybe missing uh, some attacks and uh, if you are using the ultimate, you will lose a precious second. So I know that maybe describe it in this way looks like a disaster. I'm not saying that because it's still a very good reaction, but again, compared to the other guys, it's, uh, I would say, less effective. So for me, the only good way to counter this is to use a very good Electro build on Razor, a very good Pyro damage, I would say Goblet, on your character who will burst like a burst of support or will burst your uh, pyro damage which you also will allow you when you get uh, this overload reaction to basically kill the enemy right away so in this way you don't need to catch up with the enemies and attack them again now guys we can talk about official and chong yun like i promised you so about Fischl guys, I think it's one of the best character in the entire game, so period, it's amazing, it's super good. But using Fischl with Razor, it's, uh, I would say it's a very good combo in general, especially regarding the two Electro Resonance, and also you will have, like thanks to Fischl and Resonance, uh, that will help you like Razor recharge the ultimate faster, and that's agreed, that's amazing, but compare of the like I would say the other elemental resonance, uh, the Electro one is the only one uh, basically who doesn't grant you any bonus on your attack, uh, or maybe, I don't know, for example, against the enemy who are affected by Electro. So that's my point. I would say even uh, like without Fischl, Razor can easily use the elemental skill and uh, combine with other good character, you will recharge the ultimate in no time without any problem. So all of these guys is for saying that yes, Fischl is an amazing character in general, so if you have it, you want to use it, especially Constellation 6, just go for it, don't worry. But uh, 
If you try to look at it in, uh, in, an, in another way, view the amount of good character you can have in the game now and the different reaction you can trigger, I would say I'd rather go with the other kind of character, experiment a different reaction and a new combination. That's, that's my personal opinion. Regarding Chong Yun, it's even a little bit more complicated, I would say. So it's a very particular character if you combine it with Razor. And uh, I've tried for a really long time now. So I would say the bad side that everybody is scared about is that when you use a Chong Yun elemental skill, the white damage of Razor becomes cryo. And that's true, that this effect is nothing you can do about it. And uh, now guys, I would say, don't worry, I'm not gonna tell you that to put a Cryo Goblet on Razor so you will deal more damage and you're fine. That's not the point. But uh, I, will, I would like you to notice that when Razor uses Ultimate, uh, at the same time that you use a Chong Yun Elemental Skill, the attack of Razor are like both, they're combined with the physical and the electro damage. So if you are inside of Chong Yun Elemental Skill, your attack, yes, will be Cryo, the physical, but the Electro attack will still be Electro, which means a 100% continuous superconduct reaction. That will also mean that uh, we should focus our Razor in an Electro build instead of physical damage, but that will also mean that when we are dealing a lot of IOE damage, thanks to the 100% continuous superconduct reaction, we are gonna also attack faster thanks to the Chong Yun passive talent. And at the end of this story, at the end of Chong Yun elemental skill, your damage will be converted again to normal, but the superconduct guys will still be there because it lasts for at least eight to nine seconds, which means for the next eight to nine seconds, you will deal even more damage. And in this case, you will deal your physical damage, Razor physical damage. So I know that can be, I would say, a little bit complicated to understand that you need to have uh, like a good rotation of your character. And uh, I don't know, maybe you, you don't necessarily want to do this perfect rotation and combo. But uh, this is just for saying that if you're looking at uh, this side of the face and not the other side, uh, I think that uh, make a, like Chong Yun and Razor can have a good collaboration between the two characters. And I would say not not talking about the, the usual no i don't use chong yun because my attack is cryo now regarding talents guys since razor will definitely be used as your main dps and at the moment due to the i word level you might have as an advanced player i feel safe to say that you need to have all the talents at least at level six but if you want to prioritize them and you start to build the razor now or you just start the game, I recommend you to start with, of course, the normal attack after the elemental burst and at the end, the elemental skill. Having the highest normal attack talents possible, guys, is vital for a good Razor DPS build. Talking about playstyle and animation, guys, what I highly recommend you is to take in consideration your skills in the game, your goal when you're using Razor. So, the main Spiral Abyss, a particular boss, those are the things you need to take in consideration, especially if, like we talked at the beginning of the video, you need to choose a particular weapon over another one. So I recommend you a physical build for a beginner player or for the one that doesn't really want to rotate a lot their character and they don't really care of other ultimate, uh, like the other ultimate of the character will be ready during, before or after Razor Elemental Burst. So. In this case, you will use more the normal attack and try to use, I would say, the four combo attack until the end, stunning the enemy until with last hit and try to do a lot of damage and recharge your razor with elemental skill. The playstyle though I prefer and I recommend you, especially I would say for the other player or advanced player, is uh, and or maybe also for the players who like uh, really playing for with all of four character and having like good reaction and at the same time playing with all the element uh, is of course going for an electro build and uh, in this case you will use uh, i will say 
at least the three attack of the combo which is not the last one which most of the time maybe will slow you down so but instead you will use a reaction like electro charge for staggering the enemies or maybe also a geo support for achieving the same result finally guys and i hope you are still with me i know it was like a very long guide we are talking about constellation so if the rumors like they're saying are true, knowing better Razor Constellation will definitely help you out during your summoning session, if you have wishings or primal gems to spend and you want to try to go for a particular constellation. So those for me are the three constellations you should take in consideration. So the first one is a constellation 2, so it's a full bonus for a physical and electoral build and in this way it will make your razor even stronger, of course, with the higher chance to crit. The second one is a C4, so it's a very powerful constellation and also a pretty rare one, to be honest with you guys. So this will allow you to, I would say, to do a huge amount of damage after pressing your elemental skill, which is uh, basically what you're gonna do most of the time with your razor. So definitely, it's a very good constellation. And the last one, guys, of course, is a C6. So it's a fantastic constellation which clearly put electro damage with build, uh, I would say, uh, and the electro goblet uh, in a better spot than the physical damage build. So that's also why, guys, at the end of the day, if you want to achieve a C6 razor or if you already have a couple of constellation. I personally recommend you to focus your razor on an electro build, taking full advantage of all the constellation you have, maybe also the constellation 6 you will achieve with all the good buff and debuff you can have. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you find this video helpful and let me know what you're thinking, I'm very curious about especially the new team composition, what's your favorite one and what you're thinking about a new artifact build. But if you have any other question just leave it down below in the comment, I will be more than happy to help you. So. Like the video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to show your support and watch more content like this one. I'll see you next time. Ciao ciao.